How to perform a quick examination of cranial nerves. Central nervous system examination is the most difficult thing to complete within a time limit during the practical exams. Performing a quick examination using a simple CNS kit is definitely possible. The contents of a simple CNS kit include sterile cotton swabs, wisps, pen flashlight, sensory reflex hammer, mechanical ticking watch or timer, sterile stock bottle of sugar and salt water, tongue depressor, tuning forks, 256 Hz for testing vibration, 512 Hz for Weber's test, pencils, vial of coffee, lemon juice, vanilla extract, and visual acuity charts. The olfactory nerve functions for the sense of smell. To test the integrity of the olfactory nerve, have the patient smell aromatic substances like coffee, lemon juice, or vanilla extract. For the optic nerve, visual acuity is tested using a Snellen chart for distance vision or a handheld chart for near vision. Each eye is assessed individually with the other eye covered. Visual fields are tested by directed confrontation in all four visual quadrants. The oculomotor, trochlear, abducens nerves are examined together. The eyes are observed for symmetry of movement, globe position, asymmetry or droop of the eyelids, and twitches or flutters of globes or lids. Extraocular movements are tested by asking the patient to follow a moving target like the examiner's finger or a pen light to all four quadrants and toward the tip of the nose. Differences in pupillary size should be noted in a dimly lit room. The pupillary light response is tested for symmetry and briskness. For the fifth nerve, the three sensory divisions are evaluated by using a pinprick to test facial sensation and by brushing a wisp of cotton against the lower or lateral cornea to evaluate the corneal reflex. Trigeminal motor function is tested by palpating the masseter muscles while the patient clenches the teeth and by asking the patient to open the mouth against resistance. The facial nerve is evaluated by checking for hemifacial weakness. Taste in the anterior two-thirds of the tongue can be tested with sweet, sour, salty, and bitter solutions applied with a cotton swab first on one side of the tongue then on the other. Hyperacusis, indicating weakness of the stapedius muscle, may be detected with a vibrating tuning fork held next to the ear. Evaluation of the auditory nerve involves hearing tests and vestibular function tests. Hearing is first tested in each ear by whispering something while occluding the opposite ear. The Weber and Rin tests are performed using tuning forks to differentiate the types of hearing loss. Vestibular function can be evaluated by testing for nystagmus. The glossopharyngeal and vagus nerves are usually evaluated together. Whether the palate elevates symmetrically, when the patient says, ah, is noted. The uvula usually shifts away from the paretic side. A tongue blade can be used to touch one side of the posterior pharynx, then the other, and symmetry of the gag reflex is observed. If hoarseness is noted, the vocal cords are inspected. Check for impairment of taste over the posterior one-third of the tongue. The spinal accessory nerve is evaluated by testing the muscles it supplies. For the sternocleidomastoid, the patient is asked to turn the head against resistance supplied by the examiner's hand while the examiner palpates the active muscle opposite the turned head. For the upper trapezius, the patient is asked to elevate the shoulders against resistance applied by the examiner. The hypoglossal nerve is tested by asking the patient to extend the tongue and inspecting it for atrophy, fasciculations and weakness. Check if the patient is able to perform most tongue movements and can resist against tongue depressor. To get more such high yield medical content, don't forget to subscribe. Basidia Med. The easiest and fastest way to take advanced clinical history.